Yo, humans of the world, what's going on? What's happening? How you doing? Um, so I got people asking me all the time, yo, Rowan, like, I get what you're saying about this whole vegan thing, but like, dude, I, I got no idea like how to eat like that or like what to do about that. And like, yo, can you give me some recipes or yo, Rowan, like how you getting your protein, all this, that, and the other. So I thought it'd be a great idea for me to make like a what I eat in the day video. So like, I'm gonna go through this day. I'm gonna show you guys what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can learn something for, from it. And uh, I'm gonna be tracking all my meals in an app called Chronometer. And this is like a super dope app. Any of you can use it, it's free to use. You just go online, type in Chronometer. I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, you just enter in all the food that you've been having today. And then it tracks it and it tells you all its macros and its micros. So like everything you need to know, make sure you're getting all your vitamins and your nutrients. So you'll be good to go. I guess let's uh, hop right into breakfast. All right, so first things first, every morning I always start off with a big glass of water. Usually I fill this entire thing up, so that's 32 ounces. And uh, I always start off with some cold water just because um, it helps get, get your metabolism moving. Um, it helps hydrate you because like after a night of sleeping, I haven't been drinking for like eight hours. So it rehydrates your body and um, just gets you going in the morning. So cheers. All right, so for breakfast, there's usually a couple things that I cycle through. Uh, often I'll be doing intermittent fasting, which means um, I won't eat breakfast until a little bit later in the day. But um, this video is about what I eat, not how I eat, so we can talk about that another time. Uh, anyway, so today I'm just having some overnight oatmeal, which is um, super easy to make. Basically all you do is you put some oats in a jar, put some uh, whatever plant milk you like, and then you can put some banana, dates, chia seeds, berries. And that's what I have in mind, but feel free to like freestyle that and do whatever the heck you want. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a great way to start with the day. You get um, 10 grams of protein with um, one cup of oats. And uh, I'll enter everything else into the chronometer and you can see the rest of the nutrients. Oh, and cinnamon. Cinnamon is probably one of the most important parts of this. It just makes it like super tasty. All right, guys, so this is, uh, this is what chronometer is. And what's super dope about it is you can enter your height, weight and your activity level and it gives you like a baseline um, number of calories that you burn just going throughout the day and um, so mine is pretty close to 3,000 calories that I use um, just like doing my daily activities and so yeah so now you can just add food and uh, check in with you after that all right so that's breakfast in there as you can see uh, it's just over 700 calories um, got tons of fiber Getting tons of iron for all you people worrying about vegans being anemic. Um, yeah, just getting tons of vitamins, killing it on vitamin K. Um, got those omega 3s from our chia seeds. Um, whole bunch of minerals. Getting a whole bunch of protein in as well. Getting it from all the groups. For all you say that uh, can't get all the nine protein groups from plants, y'all tripping. So I will see you guys at lunch. I gotta head to class right now and I'll uh, check in with you guys then. All right guys, so I'm back here for lunch and uh, I had to eat lunch today in the rec center just cause it was where the most convenient microwave was. And uh, I didn't want to do a whole video recording there because there's a couple of people on like, their computers trying to study or whatever. So uh, anyways, what I have for lunch is I usually just um, have leftovers from dinner the night before because I always just make a crap ton and then just heat that up later during the week. So uh, today I had kind of like a taco bowl kind of thing going on, which um, it had a base of rice and um, then black beans, lentils, onion, red pepper, spinach, sweet potato and then I had that with a side of carrots. All right, so now this is both breakfast and lunch combined. Um, as you can see, uh, lunch was about another 700 calories-ish, um, kind of around there. And um, as you can see, tons of fiber, tons of iron, um, vitamin A, vitamin C, folate, getting a bunch of vitamins in. Um, our fiber is not even close to being a problem. Gonna have to get some more fats and protein in for dinner, but not too worried about that. And I, all right, guys. So it's been a couple hours since lunch, and uh, I got a workout in. 
So I'm getting a little hungry and uh, it's too early for dinner right now. So I'm just gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna show you guys one of the most fire snacks alive, okay? What you do, you get peanut butter, obviously crunchy, because cream's for weirdos. And then you get some medjool dates, baby. <sighs> that combo, out of this world. And then I'll probably have like two, three of those, and then I'll probably make some like um, peanut butter banana toast. This combo right here, way too good. So good. All right, so I just want to make a few quick notes here. And um, the main thing is that everyone's caloric needs are different. And like the way everybody's body needs them to eat is different. So like the amount of calories that I need in a day is way different than a female who's 5'2", right? That's just our bodies are way different and we need different energy to run, different amounts of protein and everything like that. So this is just what I do. Um, to help give you guys kind of like a rough guideline and the second thing uh, I just added that quick little uh, peanut butter date banana snack that I just had and uh, I just want to point out that the multivitamin that I have in the morning I'm gonna wait to add that until the end of the day to this chronometer just so I can show you guys that even without the multivitamin you can still get every single vitamin and nutrient on a plant-based diet Obviously, besides B12, but yeah, you can get every single thing you need on a plant-based diet without taking a multivitamin. So, yeah. Alright, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to be having like a tofu scramble kind of thing, which basically turns out to be almost looking like scrambled eggs with everything you put in it and all that jazz. And, um, and I know a lot of you are like, oh yeah, here's the vegan having tofu, right? If I have tofu every day. The thing is, like, I rarely have tofu. Like, this is, like, the one meal that I use tofu in. I was just feeling it today, so, yeah. I probably have, like, tofu, like, maybe once, twice a week. Anyways, um, so we got the tofu starting to drain over here. And uh, let's get the rest of the ingredients and hop right into it. Usually make the scramble with a side of breakfast potatoes and broccoli. So, first thing you want to do is you want to get your oven on to, like, 400 I would say maybe you can go 425 yeah we'll go 425 and then uh, chop up those potatoes um, yeah so the thing with the potatoes you just want to make sure they're all about equi size that way they all like cook evenly potatoes I just put um, like a little bit of olive oil like legit just like a cap full and then I sprinkle some pepper and some rosemary and I hold off on the salt until after they cook because I've noticed that when you put the salt on the beginning, it just kind of cooks right off. So just save it for the end, and that way you're not eating like a ridiculous amount of salt. You just pop these bad boys in for 30 minutes. I like to do 15, pull them out for them, and then do another 15. All right, so the most crucial part of any meal is the sauce. That's what gives it its flavor and its goodness. All right, so here we got our uh, concoction of sauces. We got sea salt, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, and turmeric, and pepper, because you cannot have turmeric without pepper. I mean, you can, but um, turmeric, it doesn't really absorb well into your system without um, black pepper. And if you don't know about all the health benefits about turmeric, just give that a quick Google search. It is banging spice. Broccoli is pretty straightforward. You just kind of put it in a pot with like an inch of water and then just turn it on and let it do its thing. And then you got some broccoli, nice and steamed. My goodness, this onion is feisty. Ugh. All right, so first thing you want to get sauteing is some onions and red pepper. Uh, just heat the oven up, saute them. Usually cook them until like the onions turn, turn uh, kind of translucent. Alright, after those onions and peppers have been going for a while, toss in your spinach. Or use kale if you want to. Whatever tickles your fancy. Alrighty, it's time for the tofu. You want to uh, pre crumble all your tofu before putting it in the pan. Add some black beans or your bean of choice. Get that moving around just a little bit. 
now we add the sous. Just want to add some water in there to make sure you can get it going. And you just get to chopping. And your finished product should come out looking something like this. Absolute banger. Uh, you want to take the broccoli, throw it in the strainer. Come on. There we go. And now, just waiting on the potatoes. Oh! Alright, this is what I call a meal right here. Uh, you want to get your body feeling right. You want to have tons of energy. You want to be looking good, feeling good. This is what you got to put in the system, maybe. And uh, I'll plug this into chronometer. We can check out all the macros and micros. You already know it's going to be banging, though. And, uh, yeah, see how it looks a lot like scrambled eggs? Hence the name Tofu Scramble. But trust me, baby, your body will thank you so much more for this than putting in uh, chicken period byproduct. Like, come on, yo, what are you doing eating eggs? Like, that shit just nasty. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That does it for dinner. I am full. Uh, let's go over the uh, nutrients, shall we? Right, drum low, please. What am I all deficient in? Oh, wow, nothing. Uh, I was four calories short of uh, my total, but honestly, that's really not a big deal at all. Um, B12 and D are still not added because I haven't added my supplement yet. Um, Let's see, carbs, chilling, a little low on fat today, but that's really not a huge deal. Uh, it varies day to day. Maybe I'll have an avocado tomorrow, something like that. Uh, as you can see, every single vitamin, besides the two I talked about, hit. Every single mineral, hit. Uh, manganese is high, but just because like the oats and the two pieces of bread I had, but manganese isn't really something you have to worry about like overdosing on. Oh, protein, look at all that. Almost 110 grams of protein. Every single category hit. I'm telling you people, y'all tripping about protein, asking me like, yo, where you get your protein, man? Where you get your protein? I get my protein from the plants, baby. It's the best source for them. Ain't nowhere else you need to get them. All right, guys. So I hope after um, checking out this video, you guys are inspired to try some plant-based recipes. And um, maybe now that you see that it's 100% totally easy, to get all your vitamins, minerals, and nutrients on a plant-based diet. Maybe even slightly more encouraged to do so. And, um, yeah. Yo, make sure you clowns like, subscribe, and comment down below if you like this style of video, if you want more videos like this, or if you hate it and you just think I'm a jackass. Let me know. Peace. Have a good night, and uh, eat plants.